Hello everyone, and welcome to CEA's Mindful Moment, a series of brief videos illustrating how basic mindfulness practices can help reduce stress and anxiety for teachers and for students. My name is Kate Field, and this week's episode is all about letting go of hurt and anger. To be or not to be is probably one of the most famous questions in all literature. Hamlet goes on to ask whether it's better to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or to take arms against a sea of troubles. And by opposing, he asks, do we end them? Hamlet is asking himself whether he should accept life's suffering or fight an unwinnable battle against it. It's one of life's great questions. But is Hamlet offering himself a fair choice or is he overlooking another option? The story of Buddha and the second arrow offers a middle path between accepting life's pain and fighting against it. The parable goes like this. Buddha once asked a student, if a person is struck by an arrow, does it hurt? Well, yeah, the student replied, obviously. But if that person is then struck by a second arrow, is that arrow even more painful? The Buddha asked. Of course, said the student. Buddha sat his student down and said, In life, we can't always control the first arrow. However, the second arrow? That's optional. The second is our reaction to the first arrow, and with it comes the possibility of choice. Buddha's literature is filled with stories about arrows, and another, Buddha's enemies fire flaming arrows at him, which fall harmlessly to the ground around him in a shower of lotus blossoms. Like Shakespeare, Buddha asked the same basic question, how do we handle life's slings and arrows? Unlike Hamlet, who must choose to accept or to fight, Buddha offers his student and us a third choice. Turn your arrows into flowers. Mark Brackett, the director of the Yale Center for Emotional Intelligence, calls this moment of choice a meta-moment. Between the arrow and our reaction to the arrow, there is a space, and in that space, we decide how to respond. The choice is what makes us human. We can choose to respond rationally or emotionally, but the choice and the outcome are ours to own. In yet another arrow parable told by the Buddha, the Buddha observes a man staggering down the road with a poison arrow sticking out of his chest. He's clearly in pain. Where are you going with that arrow sticking out of your chest? asked the Buddha. The man replied, gasping, I'm off to find the man who shot me and I'm going to shoot him. The Buddha, who was an imminently practical kind of guy, said, Maybe start with taking the arrow out of your own heart? That might make the pain go away. Holding on to pain and anger only perpetuates our own pain. By learning to let go of anger, grudges, and the other arrows life slings at us, we learn to live more happily, with a greater capacity for love. This week's mindfulness practice is simple. Just take a moment to try to let go of any anger or pain you've been carrying around. Do this by sending love and good wishes to someone who's hurt you. If you do this regularly, you're training your brain to feel compassion instead of anger. Let's just give it a try. Picture the face of someone who's wounded you. Imagine taking the pain they've inflicted on you and sitting it high on a shelf in the back of a closet. It's there if you want to pick it back up. Think of a quality you admire in the person who's harmed you. Picture their face smiling at you. And repeat the words, on your screen. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be free from all pain. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be free from all pain. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be free from all pain. How does that feel? Now take another second to repeat that phrase three more times. Picture the whole world as a small globe that fits in your hand. 
Send these warm wishes to all living beings in the globe who, like you, just want to be happy. Thank you for all you do. Please stay well.